As we mentioned, Donald Trump meeting with the RNC yesterday behind closed doors. He leads the pack so far with the most delegates. But some delegates have no restrictions. They can vote for anyone at the national convention in July. Here's where the delegate count stands today. Trump, way ahead, 736. Cruz, 463. Kasich, 143. And Rubio, who dropped out, still holding 171 delegates. Ron Kaufman is a former member of the Republican Convention Rules Committee. He also served on the Executive Committee and the Convention Site Selection Committee. So he knows this thing backwards and forwards. Ron, great to have you on The Real Story. Good beyond, Gretchen. So let's talk about something that I never thought we were going to be delving so much into, which is this very interesting little nugget, North Dakota. They have a GOP convention this weekend. Now, the total number of delegates, 28, 25 selected at the convention, but three keynote speakers are happening this weekend, weekend, including Senator Ted Cruz and then Dr. Ben Carson for Mr. Trump. There's really no primary or caucus in North Dakota. So how, how is this going to work and how important are these speeches this weekend? Well, we're a state's rights party, Gretchen. We give each state the right to do and select delegates as they so choose. And in some states, uh, they, they are allowed to run as unbound to any candidate, to go to the convention uh, with an open mind, if you will. Unlike the Democrats who have super delegates that are automatic delegates no matter what and can do anything they want, uh, ours are a little bit different. They have to get elected as unbound. And there's about 150 or so uh, of them across the country in about six or seven different states. Right. Uh, so they'll, they'll, they'll be a, a bit of a player, but I'm not sure that they're going to control uh, the outcome in the end. Well, it's interesting. Let's take a look now at the next graphic. North Dakota again sure. to meet and select 25 convention delegates. All could be unbound going to Cleveland. Pennsylvania, 17 bound delegates by primary on April 26. 54 unbound ones. Colorado, 37 member delegation will be mixed of bound and unbound. You need your PhD in this. Uh, and then let's talk about Guam. <laughs> uh, nine unbound delegates. Who thought we'd be talking about the importance of Guam? But let's face it, Ron, every delegate is going to be so incredibly important, and people just don't begin to understand who's bound, who's unbound, and the lobbying that's starting already, right? And that, nothing unusual in this, uh, Christian. It's been this way for a long time. Back in uh, 1980, when I worked for George Herbert Walker Bush, it was the same th way. Uh, he won two to one almost in, in Pennsylvania, but ended up with only 30% of the delegates. So this is not a new process, but it's the process that's been in place for a while. All the candidates who are running this time understood the process from the beginning. Uh, but in the end, it's a small percentage of the delegates needed. And I, I don't really think, unlike the Democrats, where it's a big percentage, it's a very small percentage. And I don't think in the end it's actually going to make much of a difference. Why not, though? Why not? Because a report today said that only one of the 168 RNC members, they will be delegates too, are publicly supporting Trump. So one of 168. And Cruz has been whipping up these delegates in Louisiana and other places across the country. So why do you think it will not be that important? Well, with all due respect to that report, I'm a Republican National Committee man from Massachusetts, uh, and I'm an automatic delegate, but I am bound to the results of the primary. So I will be representing one of the three people who won delegates in Massachusetts, um, and I will, while I'm an automatic delegate, I'm also bound. And that's, that's the rule in almost 90% of the states. So again, it's a small percentage uh, of the overall uh, total amount of delegates that will uh, elect our nominee and next president. I hope. Okay. Uh, unless we get to the point at the convention where nobody has the magic number of 1237 and then we're having votes and then it, all bets are off by the time you get to the second <laughs> vote. Uh, that, so, that you know, is true. Then you need a double PhD uh, once we get to that point. Ron, <laughs> Ron Kaufman, uh, get out your dictionary for bound and unbound. Got to know exactly what that means. Thanks much.